Messi, Elite, Head Halt Head. Takımın gözü ve kulağı, en büyük askeri, BB'nin yeni makinesi, Rizzi. Ama... BB'nin yeni maestrosu, lider ve kaptan, EMA'yı fethetmek için tekrar Burat'a, Avru Baura. Baura. Takımın ateşi, yüzü ve bir neslinin umudu Büyük Yıldız ve İlkom. Eksekiyorsunuz. The Q. Kral geliyor. Her zaman bu arenadaydı ve yüksekler oynadı. Hep büyük oynadı. Adı gibi Brave. Woo! <gülüyor> Görev adamı. <gülüyor> Gizli kahraman. Büyük oyuncu ve büyük yetenek. Crux. Nice. Yakışıklı ve Foot'un yeni gözdesi. Yıllardır bu sahnede oynuyormuş gibi. Starboy, Yiğit Uncay. Herkesin saygı duyduğu büyük akıl. Kimsenin göremediğini gören Mr. Değil, Master Foreign. Bizim ilk şampiyon Zinsperstar. Kusursuz Jet artık geri evinde ve parlamaya devam ediyor. Sinnet! Şimdi kumandan çıkamadı. Her daim herkesin yanında ve yardımında büyük kaptan, ata kaptan! <gülüyor> ve tekrar huzurlarınızda BBL kuşları, koçları. Epic ve kuşlar, Element. Kuşlar. Futi Sports koçları Gaze ve Sway. Birinin eşi benzeri yok. Artık şov başlasın. Heyecan. Hadi bakalım. Hadi bakalım. Uh, I believe we have lost. Um, they're playing well together. And just because, like I said before, they've been improving so much in the next weeks, uh, the past week, sorry. Fizik terbisi biraz farklı. Çünkü iki takım da çok formda. Evet. Hatta Emea'nın en iyi ma maçı olarak değerlendiriyor yurt dışında. Ee, yabancı yayıncılar falan hani günün maçı e, garip bir şekilde foot BBL olacak diyorlardı. Bakalım hatta haftanın maçı. Yani Fnatic Navi maçından bile üste koyuyorlardı bu maçın değerini, önemini. Ee, çok şey belirliyor yani zaten. Tabii. Hadi bakalım, hadi bakalım. I think it's such an important win for Foot as well. I, do, I definitely don't think they're going to give it up just because BBL want to get to the playoffs. No, no, I don't think so. This is a big matchup for the side of Foot. Even if the stakes were low, I'd expect them to come in swinging to try and take down the regional rivals of BBL. And Foot, as we saw, put CNN on that race. We've been praising his jet quite extensively. I'm excited to see what he can do on this stage as well. Is, never this, been a slacker. Yeah, on this map, he was playing Sage. They've tried Raze. They've tried a few different things, even at one point. Uh, well, we've seen him on Neon on this map, mm -hmm. but the, the fact is it, it definitely hasn't been the most comfortable of choices, especially when you compare to Kushner on the other side, but mm. I'm never going to doubt Seen it in any yeah. of these scenarios, and he may not be in spot for this round, but you've got both initiators there, a lot of information <laughs> available to them, and already with the knife being shot, okay, it doesn't get them all the info, but it gets them in a... Yeah, it might not have the Dizzy to work with, but still a flash on cracks as well. BBL have their own, though. Breezy lining up the dog right now, it's gone through. Flash on the back of it, you'd imagine. No, just a straight-up swing. The flash comes behind Kushner, letting him get close to take these fights and win them. Nice little double to open things up. Brave, the one to find that second as foot now, find themselves locked out of B. And it's going to be tough to find their way back through. They've got a Viper wall to try and block out those longer range angles, but BBL have taken a lot of their players onto the site. <laughs> Needed a kill. I'm not going to find one. one. Breezy ready there. Brave looks sad and it's not quite Let's flawless, go! but this is clean as for BBL. A huge start for them.
In a match that says it's integral for them to make it through to the playoffs. A victory. Arkadaşlar çok kısa bölüyorum. Sizlere hesap.com.tr'yi tanıtmak istiyorum. Valorant TP'lerinizi hızlıca güvenilir ve kolayca hesap.com.tr'den satın alabilirsiniz. Fiyatlar diğer sitelere göre gerçekten ucuz. Fiyatlar da güncel olarak ekrandaki gibi. Ben de ihtiyaçlarımı buradan temin ediyorum. Canlı destek ile sorunlarınıza ve sorularınıza anında yanıt alabilir. Dilerseniz de mail yoluyla bilgi alabilirsiniz. Siz de hesap.com.tr'den VP satın almak için açıklamayı bıraktığım linkten üye olup kolayca alışveriş yapabilirsiniz. Not only takes them to playoffs but also wins in the group. That's how crazy this scenario is right now. They lose this series 2-0. They're out. They win it in any capacity and they win the group. It's just ridiculous. Müthiş flashlar. How this alpha group has ended up. I don't recall stakes like this ever. One match for first or bottom. Incredible. I suppose it wouldn't be the bottom, right? That slot's already occupied, but well, you're not really going to care if you're the first or second loser. All the matters is you ain't going to playoffs. For BBL already, one round under their belt. A big stack up from foot. Trying to use the firing squad of classics. And that has worked out very well. Damage is done, but converting any further should be quite difficult. Oh, you say that. Who's the last man standing, Mitch? Oh, out of captain with a classic. Out of captain with a classic. Enzo sweating backstage. Well, a chance, but yeah, it's a very slim one. They've retrieved the guns as well. Take those through to the next round. Dikkat etmemiz lazım. The thing is, this BBL squad at times has been incredibly explosive. Bravo! That's always one of the worries. Like there was a chance they came into this match where they're in the same position as Foot, but they're just battling for the top of the group. They didn't need anything for qualification, but as you said, Liquid did the business earlier on. But it does seem like they're still going into this as confident as ever. Okay. Knowing that the stakes there, and there is also a world. I want to say this: if they lose two-one, there's a pretty decent chance they still qualify as long as the game is close. If they get smashed in the two maps and then win one close, maybe there's a way that they get eliminated. But I would say that that's a lot less likely. Yeah, there's a couple clear-cut paths to playoffs for some of these teams, and then the rest of it gets pretty murky when it comes down to the most math behind it. Just win. Exactly. You win. Or you're in the you have a better chance. That was it. That was, that was, yeah, that was yeah, quote. yeah. There I you remember. go. I pay attention. Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, it's rifle round for foot. About to have a Çok fight. Çok iyi lan. Pardon. It was just poor as the smoke oldum. faded. Bu. He's able to win that one pretty easily. Getting out of there with most of his HP. Utility still rocked up on that attack side, and no need to push. No overextension from the attackers. Confident now that they've got the advantage. They'll let the clock run down öyle. and hope foot make Agro another mistake. Agro yapıyorlar be Shorta. İlerleme. Eyvah. 50% tamam, güzel of that information. They're going to go hunting for the rest. The timing on the tiger. Not the best. And ah. Not able to correct. It's a good recovery. And actually seen it continues. Tane oldu da bombayı görür bu arada. Any further. He's going to end up spotting the spike. This could be a, a huge problem. Çok güzel tamam. For his opponents, it's going to be retrieved. Oh, oh, oh. Just about makes it around the corner. However, that's so much info for the rest of the team. The energy is there to kick things off and give them that advantage. Yeah, Crax has even got some support to play with here. Not able to use the flash up because he thought the energy, but he's got his gun in hand, ready to duel. And the swing is good. Foot right back on the board. One round found. For BBL, well, they're not going to be devastated by that loss. Remember, this is the third round. One that they're not favored to win, and it came down to a decent margin up until these last few fights, which was utter domination. But they found the opening duel, and then lost out a little bit on the map control. The well-timed push out of foot through Hookah. Round four sees that full buy right back up, though. A few players getting close to ultis as well. We could have a pit or an orbital strike for either side. Still plenty of available. Still plenty of available. But as you said, it's still just down to the firefights. Spreading an early net just to try and catch any aggression. We know that Foot lazım, will like to push them on this one. Obviously for BBL, this has been one of the maps they've struggled on a little bit more. Losing in this split oh, the olamadı. Giant X in fairly dominant fashion. And then losing to Koi as well. They're not oh. the teams you really want to be losing on a map. <laughs> it probably tells you everything you need to know. For Foot, close loss to KC. Güzel, it's aldık. been pretty stellar on this map. For now, though, it's slow from BBL. Taking their time. Shower's control has been fought hmm, for and claimed. Bu arada B, çok iyi üç çekti. Yani istediğimiz again, yaptık aslında. Like they're going to try and walk up towards mid, but slightly denied for the moment. Burada çok fazla kill vermeden girersek eğer, müthiş olur. Ama onlar da tabii infoyu aldı. Happy to get their toxins back online before they make this push, I'd imagine. Never mind. 
They're going straight out ahead of it, looking for some fights. And it looks like they're soon to get them. The bait as the plant is faked Shall to attempt to draw them into open combat. Black Shall Mike used Mosh Pit in. The utility response is there from foot, but there seems to be a response from BBL. They want to get aggressive. Kushner swinging through. The smoke is being caught. Yenishe finds Reezy, but BBL still have one player left behind on the side. Elite trapped. Already having taken Çok down Mr. Zaman. Fallen, it looks like he'll just about escape, but they're on his Çıkmadan tail. Biliyor. About Çıkmadan to see this biliyor. double TP straight through. They know he's still inside. And a captain has confirmed that it is now closing the distance on the door. They'll open it, presumably with that snake bite and leave Elite down in the dumps. In fact, no, they didn't. rotating around in a long way. It's just patience. Not a captain will get it anyways. Yeah, I think that he just waited for the moment that his teammate can go through the TP, ah. knowing that he would eventually have to leave. This now leaves things in a pretty problematic scenario for the remaining pair of BBL. Or is going to try and get aggressive. He's still in the line and timing could have been any worse. Now it's all over. Oh, it's great. Even it's a couple of tasty it's shots. A little bit unlucky not to get both. But nonetheless, the round has gone the way of foot. And they were equalized early on. No accounting for the fire rate, but he, if he had a Vandal, that could have worked out perfectly. Do you yeah. know something cool? Can be left unseen it. What's that? Now someone correct can correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm pretty sure if both of these teams qualify, then every single Turkish player in EMEA will have made it into the playoffs, which is 13 oh, Turkish yeah, okay. players. Yeah, I can't think of a solo. Because you've player got, left out. Obviously, yeah. yeah, you've got Alpha as well. You've got the guys over on Heretics. Rians, yeah. That is impressive. Root. 13 players player in six different teams. You're getting close to a 50% of the entire thing being Turkish oh. players. Listen, Tom, you can over. You know you go back to 2021, 2022, and tell me in the future, you're going to have half the league be Turkish players. I believe you. I, would, I, I, I wouldn't good. think you're crazy. I would understand it entirely. The region's only grown as younger talent comes up. Shows what they can do. It's good to see players like CNET, though, still around. And I think this year as well, having that massive resurgence. He'd been good is that, is that? before, great in the past, and now back to excellence. It's BBL side looking to take over A with the weaker weapons. They've gotten a lot of space out of this. The utility, sure, delays on, the plant slightly, on. but at the end of the day, they're waiting for foot to run out of utility and have to take these fights with weapons in hand. That's when the numbers advantage could come into play. Orbital Strike used here. High Brave to isolate some fights, then Showstopper comes online. Fire oh. heaven. Not a great angle oh. forward, and not one that will find a connection. Seen yeah. it again on a sliver of health late in the round, but he's surviving, and these shots are not landing. Reezy on 20 HP, flanked out by Yedige, leaves Elite with absolutely nothing to do. In fact, it's even seen it on two health to swing and find the last kill. Just see that things. I feel like he gets stronger as the round goes on. The more healthy he loses, the higher his headshot <laughs> percentage is. It's definitely absurd. And that's a round where, again, if you look at what was invested in terms of finances for BBO, you go, oh, oh, it's, not it. it's not too bad. Not too the unfortunate like truth yeah. is what they invested in the ultimates. You got yourself the ultimate strike and the showstopper. I'm not gonna lie, that's making my feet shake. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, glory, and this is only the start of the first map, Tom. Yeah. Plenty more to go. But like you said, BBL committed a lot. That orbital strike, that showstopper not finding the win. It was with low buy, and I can respect the hustle to come in on a low buy round and say, hey, we're gonna bridge the gap yeah. somehow. This is how we do it. Isolating fights off orbital strike using showstopper. Didn't work. This showstopper, little bit better. Right at Reezy's feet as Cracks pushes up to claim control of Batch. Backed up by Yedige. Although that support was not really needed. BBL. Found themselves investing all their credits oh, into this one after that. using ultis in the previous. And now, a matter of seconds into the round, Tom, they have been put in their place. The fourth round seeming inevitable for Foot at this stage. But th this is the it's thing when you're playing up against Foot. They are a team that you might look at some of their compositions and go, okay, this is fairly conventional. That doesn't mean they're going to use it in a conventional way. They are very aggressive in the manner in which they play this defense. And the set play there couldn't have been better. They, they catch two players Kim rushing jump. forward. Oh, the third jump. isolated from the showstopper in showers. And now the remaining two, it's, it's a decision of if you even try anything here. Uh, obviously, you don't want to allow foot to survive with this many players, but at the risk of your own finances, maybe wanting to keep something into the next round. But okay, now, though, it looks like they were trying to die. I love the yani fact that it's sort of the other. They might have been Mr. Farland just spamming into yok. that smoke. And look how much health CNET has. Again, 2 HP last round, 1 HP this round. It does feel like he's playing an RPG at this point. Like, uh, the guy loses HP, gains critical hit points or something. A, a critical hit chance, perhaps. Nothing it's, but heads. He gains dodge. <laughs> dodge, yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> it's like, there's an 80% chance left. that your bullets won't hit him. <laughs>
Oh, man, sometimes, I mean, if you were playing this guy from home, you'd say it was the ping, but uh, well, you don't have that excuse here. He's just better. Four rounds like cool stuff, locked in now for the defensive side so as the clock runs down, and long nobody long will be taking those weapons out of BBL's hands, so they'll still have something to spar with coming in to round number seven. For now, you can see the ulti usage on the side of foot finding a little bit more value than it did oh, vice versa, and speed. wow. Cracks the pop yeah. flash, isolates a 1v1 duel. Uh, th th we talked about this the other day when the guy wasn't even playing. Cracks' KO for me is a staple. I, I don't think yeah. I've seen a KO that impresses me as much and as this consistently as this man. His Sage is kind of good too. His, his, raise. Raise. his everything is good. <laughs> his everything is good. His KO is like, great. And that's the one thing I'm sad about not having split. I, I think it, it's cool to see Cena versus Kushner, but it would have been cool also to see Cracks versus Kushner in the same battle. And then obviously seen it over on the chamber, but I, I think I agree with Vlad as well. The fact that BBO have right here. taken this one to right ascend here. in the end when they could have taken it to split, which is a map that both teams have looked good on. It's where I expected it to go. This Once round though, impressed. alts back online at least in the form of Seekers. They can get the information of these aggressive pushes. But this defense has been dynamic. No, switch up of personnel well. once again. The double initiator here as they try and push through mid once again. Oh, Mr. Fallen's going to be under pressure to take that fight. Breezy winning it out. It looks like a null command going into play for Cracks, but he's not able to fight ahead of those smokes. They've lost the space. They've conceded it, and the plan has come through at this point. Foot are forced into that retake, but they won't be too upset about it. Look what they've got to work with when they put feet back on the side. Viper's pit out of Yedige. He's going up towards Yorda, Yorda, Yorda, Yorda. which makes me a little bit nervous. You also have to contemplate in the side of BBL. Their post plan, Molotov on Brave, could be in play. We can see his position on the map. And yes, indeed, he's playing that post plan Molly. So now there's a bit of time pressure on foot. They have to win these fights relatively quickly as they move their way forward. Sure, poor is dropped, but still haven't cleared out lamps. And this is where big problems could be brewing. Elite. Still on that off nice. clean. Kill. Yes, yes man. Diffuser pardon and three in total. He's in nice position and a fantastic follow up for BBL to find a round. Yeah, that made me really nervous because that Molotov was slightly off and they could have actually got the diffuse there. But so luckily, I can make when you have players like Elite, it's sometimes true, the true. utility can miss and he'll just wipe everyone out anyway. I kind of feel like that Molly helped them out because you, you're obviously not going to stick the plant, are you? If the Molly lands and right. then you buy your time here, <laughs> they're like, oh, look, they made a mistake. We can defuse it. Wall goes down, and this happens. Nice I, and I, easy. I, I, I, I, last, not so much. It was seen it. He was up against. He made it look effortless. Four to three. BBL not going to let Foot run away with this one. They'll keep it close, which is a win condition for them, even if they don't take the series. Got the spike. That's true. They'd still need a map. But if they keep it close all the way through, a map is enough. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing. I, I feel like we've seen so many players that come into the league this year they have been exciting we can talk about Wu as of recent we could talk about anyone on heretics and kc and i think you're you're gonna excite most people but elite has been one of the real sort of standouts this guy has been the reason that this team has been so unbelievably good horror setting up for the ult again it's gonna be pressure but and a captain already manages to find an opener. Oh, yeah, and this has just gone a little wrong. They've used the ult, but there's not really yeah, a way to play off it. Yeah. yeah, kept way back on this. BBL now have to find a, an alternate solution to breaking through this defense, and it's not going to be dry running it at least. You can't imagine it is. Cena sat in the corner. Thrash put through at a captain right up on it to trade through the wall, but doesn't need it. Oh, not with spams time. like that from Cena, and that was blind fire to take down another player, to take down yeah, Elite, yeah. remove that Viper utility and send BBL to a familiar see situation. See yeah. Two versus five, 30 seconds on the clock and they're saving, but this oh, time, Yedige is ahead of it. He doesn't want them to carry these weapons through to the next. Yeah, Instead, he's hunting them in their spawn. And now the rest of foot are on their way. 18 seconds plus some post timer. Poor has got to hold on strong if he wants this weapon for the next and no way to hit the shot on cracks. Five for foot and nothing carried through for BBL. Yeah, again, it creates a fairly awkward scenario for them. Because Foot have been able to complete a few of these rounds with a fair amount of people surviving. Whereas if you look at the other side of things, well, it was sort of that clutch scenario in the last round of Elite doing a lot of damage. It meant a couple of players had some money to spend, but in this round, they can't really afford to do anything. Now, they do have a Viper's Pit. We've already seen them commit a couple of ults in scenarios that hey, have risk around them. I don't think I'd necessarily mind it being committed, especially if they're going to purchase up a few SMGs, if they can get into that position to begin with. But I think that's been one of the bigger problems, is once they're in the afterplant, it's looked all right. 
It's been difficult to get there in the first place, though. Foot have been Arbitur very Zuzuna. proactive in the way that they're playing this defensive side, conti continuously pushing, but also just in different avenues every single time. Mm -hmm. You can see it in this round as well, right? They're, how quickly they're able to slow the play after Pora puts through his rolling thunder. This is something that you, you, the second you see it come through, maybe there's one player on site who's got his rifle ready to fight, but you're about to be flooded and Mosh Pit goes in. What are you going to do? Run through that. Even with the stun up, they're probably going to connect the kill. Timeout for BBL as they look to discuss these problems. Icebox is their pick. That's up next. So even a loss here would be understandable somewhat. But Foot haven't looked terribly shaky on Icebox. The Vitality game had issues, but honestly, they seem like issues you can solve yeah. with a little bit of rejigging probably the composition. They were, they were glaring issues of, yeah, just, yes. just not running yourself an agent that could really spot mid. In and the form they're of getting the flanked joint. on mid. So, yeah, I, again, I think that, like, realistically, I, I never feel confident ever going into a map versus Foot because they're just a team that can sometimes just blitz anyone. And the one thing coming in, maybe we talk about Ascent, but, you know, the, the 82nd province for these guys. But the reality is, BBL, we, we even had the conversation on the desk start of the week. It's just not their map anymore. It's, and they even said it, that it's no longer their Istanbul. So, well, up against Foot, I'd say a Turkish team will win the map. But uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I'd be favored be BBL. Turkish well, map today, as well as all that. the others. <laughs> Here we go, Kyushin with a hero yeah. rifle. Gonna try and pad the gap, and it's not going okay, great for Rizzi at the start. Go. Again, this pressure, okay, but it's go. almost That's like a trading of places. Little... The defense has taken control almost towards the spawn. And on the other side, they managed to get into the plant. You can see people are trying to bait them in. They're, they're tapping the plant just to almost get somebody to peek, give them a little bit of information, but that hasn't really been the case. Foot more than happy to try and hold their ground. Nate yeah. as well will make things a lot more awkward and nice. as they try and pressure. They've got to be ready for a second player to be there. At a captain is the snake in the grass. Oh yeah, he's very late oh, no. on this too. And it's not like they can commit Kushner to watching the angle for much longer. His head's been ripped clean off from heaven. Players nice coming out of spawn too. On, Once you hear these close steps, that's where your eye is drawn to. And this is where out of captain. Well, now he's just oh, with the rest of the team, that. popping a paranoia, clearing up all this space and leaving these oh, pistols in a really tough spot. Elite has a chance with a body shot to Mr. Fallen, that? but the round's already slipped away. How much more can he take out of their hands? A couple that, rifles, that, that, that, some reinvestment, but ultimately that, six that, to three, that, three that, rounds that, left that. to play for. Foot are in prime position Ushmane. to close this half out with a big advantage. Yeah, uh, they, literally they lost the pistol second round and then one round where it was the retake where Elite managed to slam them back before they could get anything done. It has been a, a solid performance from Foot so far and they are no slouches on either side of this map. Again, Viper's Pit still available for Elite. And Poor is going to be the one to take the hit after the hero rifle in the last round. Fact is though, they're using these early concussors in an attempt to try and slow down foot, but it is not slowing them at all. They are pushing this again. Get out, yeah, we start with the flash out of cracks, the paranoia used, the nade now forcing them out of position into the fight, and that's exactly Put what foot wants. The kill's found, and favorably for the defensive side with BBL trailing, and Pora tries to bridge the gap, loses okay. the fight, loses the spike. Where's he yeah. going? CNED's blast packing around like a lunatic. I'm the cracks has yeah. got him covered. That's going to be a frustrating aim duel to try and take. And now that's all go. that's left is for Brave to 1v4. All players yeah, in the yeah, same yeah. position and the three remaining to carry their weapons this, forward uh, for a 7-3 to three lead. And a statement start out to this series. That was almost like, you know, the little guy talking smack and then like the big bouncer comes up behind him. That's what it felt like. It's like, look at me, look at me. And then Cracks just deletes Back. everyone. And it has been like just yeah, across the board. Yeah, Cracks yeah, 11 yeah, and 5. Yeah. Yedege 10 and 6. Cena 10 and 4. Like, they are having a field day on an individual oh, level. They are fight fighting fight aggressively. Fight. And that's the thing, at this point, their opponents, as I said, setting up stunts to try and stop them being able to fight for these positions, try and make things a little bit more awkward. And they don't care. And the, the one time they don't do is where Keep should have set his showstopper. They wanted to try and counter them directly with an ult. And there's no one here. And they're slowed Spike down by the mosh pit. What a trade out. An old for a cheap piece of utility. But one that's found so much impact in this series so far. Mr. Fallen might not be fragging, might not be leading from the front, but he's doing his job and that's all he needs to do. This time though, Adam Captain goes down. Damage already done. Showstopper okay. back in from Cena. Nade in from Cena. These players are in trouble. 
Cena is just shredding them in laps, and it was a good start, but a terrible finish for BBL. Elite 38 HP. Sure, he's got a Viper's Pit, but you're only going to bring them down to your level. Welcome to your world, quite literally. Yeah. And a shot through the smoke is going to take you down pretty quickly. And this is the problem. I think he's had that now for, what, four, five rounds, maybe? It, it's been Should a be long enough. time. Yeah, yeah that this Viper's Pit has been available, but they're not even getting close to post plants most of the time. It, it, it's scenarios where, again, it's just they're not getting showers control. Uh, every time they try and wrap in through mid, it's just given up by foot, foot or allowing them the space. And while the B hits have mostly just been denied by utility and then the rotations are in fast level. enough that foot are able to hold, Toxins BBL definitely struggling. I On this attack well. side, Amar Elite has said it, he's been unbelievable. This season, but 38 HP, Spectre, three players behind, and Cned is behind him. Oh, that's absolutely no hope. That timing is incredible. I mean, we watched him the whole time, shift walking all the way around the two zeros out in the crowd. And foot, well, if they keep up this momentum, it won't only be a 2 0, it'll be a quick and clean one. Look at this from Cena, the nade kill after his back cover. They try to push him in front. He shows stoppers. They come behind him to take him down. As he's nading. Well, he's got cover. Then you got to run out of the nade. No, can't get out in time. There's just nowhere to go. Hey, I said his jet's being good, and I didn't expect him to be a slacker on the raise, but looks like he can draw our eye just the same. 13 and 4 at the moment. Very impactful showstoppers, too. Very impactful utility. And the guy's hitting heads. Yeah, and now you've got the setup of Yadige blocking off every angle you can walk through and CNED blocking off every angle you can jump through. <laughs> no good option on B, in other words, but it's understandable that Foot have placed this immediately because uh, like the last few rounds, BBL have tried to fight into that A side of the map. It has failed miserably. They now get to put all of their players with flashes and information utility on the other side of the map as well. So either way, it's not going to be an easy take for... BBL, but they do have themselves up to strike. Viper's Pit, if they need it. Nothing spotted outside of the B site as well. They will know exactly where this is coming from. Hello, oh, okay. They might know where it's coming from, but dealing with these players this time could be a different challenge altogether. Good flash, but Kushner, his team flash, in fact. But it works nonetheless. Gets the others closer to take down those kills. Kushner's wrap was perfect. Smoke up top blocked out anyone from helping. And finally, Viper's Pit has come into play. So BBL, four versus two. A lot of damage done, granted, but Orbital Strike in play. Viper's Pit already up. Spike planted, time ticking, shots coming close. CNET spams through walls have been unbelievable. At times, there's one through the pit, but it was Tracers. Orbital Strike pushes him back. His life should be fairly limited at this point. One HP swarming with a vandal and a snake bite that catches him as it unfurls. They even drop the pit to leave Yedige in the open. And at this point, there's no way they light him away with it. Eight rounds for foot at the half, but BBL crept back up in the end. Four is not ideal, but it's doable. Let's see how their defensive side's gonna kick off. <laughs> it's definitely not a death sentence. We, we've seen teams on this map in the past definitely struggle with the attack side. A lot of the time, it, it's the narrow choke points and also just the, the slow timing you almost have to go for to try and methodically clear a lot of those aggressive angles. I say, to say I the horror is definitely still believing that the squad could turn this one around. I said, this map has not been comfortable for them pretty much all season. I think at kickoff, I think it was the first map of kickoff they managed to beat Na'Vi. I think we mostly put that down to it being a first map of Na'Vi. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Rather than anything else, but... Which is the still. trend. Defenses. Farriers up, but a slow approach from foot. Now, we saw BBL's initial five, six rounds. They were just planting their feet in the ground. Planting foot push, although foot didn't. This time, they are looking to be a bit more proactive. That Viper Orb has put a big problem up for them. It's synced with their walls, so they're not going to have their own toxins to cross with. They've already lost a player on the way through. The defensive side can now just sit tight and wait for the reactions. And as we look Brave towards Hookah, it looks like a lot of pressure will be on Brave with a frenzy up play. close and three players too. In fact, about to peak and CNET wins the fight. Sight now under threat. Good nade, great nade. This utility from CNET came perfect. Oh, and Cracks jumps up on the wall for one with the decay. 
Well, now all of a sudden, Footer is looking to win this trips. round, looking favored, and they isolated Kyushiner, another 3K oh, from oh, oh, no Look away, <laughs> cut away, I, I don't want to see this. And here we go, for the first time, Elite swings oh, in and well. catches one, that's all. <laughs> Teams like Yenishay have deserved tonight. <laughs> <laughs> just couldn't land those shots. Control, Seen it yeah. on the other what hand. shots? I didn't see it. I, I I need to I need to see his shots from his POV because it just seems again and again. I'm thinking back to the pistol round he won on, on Breeze, but yeah. I think this this last okay, the nade one to... was good. This shot was ridiculous, and that was just so clean. Like it's been fantastic. Putting him back in the Turkish team definitely seems to have brought him. Oh my god, it's incredible. They've got the drums out like, and everything. I like how it says the future is for... You're going to need a bigger building. <laughs> <laughs> if it gets any more than that, guys, come on. You're going to have the whole of Turkey in there. I need every screen in the cinema. Flash didn't catch anyone. Poor up. Sat inside this smoke, was hoping they'd get a connection. Nothing lands, no more flashes for Reezy. They're just gonna wait for this smoke to fade. He's tucked up close, but they're watching it. Take a look at Ada Captain. More than ready for that push to take place. And take a look across the map. One player on mid, one watching Bath push. They've even got, I think it's Wingman. Yeah, he's up and on his way through Hookah. Right so they've cleared a ton of space, denied any aggression from BBL, and now they stack up to gamble into a site. The problem, Tom, is the gamble is taking place towards what is now a four-man stacked up site. It's only weaker weapons, but with these pistols and Turkish players, you never know what you're going to get. Foot, though, off to a good start. Yeah, luckily, Foot also yeah, have Turkish like players, yeah. so, so they have the perfect yeah. counter. One of them even having a share of his own. Nice shot from Elite. Oh, Bray's bit. also got one more. They're definitely making this a little more competitive. Oh, exactly. uh, as quickly as the awesome. begins, it fades. 10 to 4. Foot running away with this. <laughs> I agree. Give him a share and relax. This round, yeah, though. It's going to be a fairly strong bonus round out from Foot. Like, if there's going to be any semblance of hope in a response, Hi, the Trojo Clash. round victory Bonus for BBL. Flash. And while CNED and Yedeje alone having vandals could sometimes be enough. Oh, it definitely could be. Yeah, even those weaker weapons. Don't under underestimate the Bulldog. Maybe underestimate Mr. Fallen Stinger. You're, you're all right for that one. But oh, he's going to get three. Yeah, this is the round. <laughs> this is the round, just to prove me wrong. The reactions from BBL again, we've seen this a few times. Elite just popping up the orb the second the wall comes in play. They're just going to battle with the toxins to see if one team can but catch a timing late in the, the round. Bank of bank of Abi the mistake will take place. Knife up and over, clears out yani. bath, and that space Ve is taken immediately. Yeah, Shay pushing up. Yapacak bir şey yok. Keep an eye on if he ends up taking Kötü one of these orbs. But it is all just default play yani. to take map control and set up for later kills. BBL trying to react to this a little bit, but ultimately sticking in their 3-2 for now. I guess that flash is going to come out of Reezy eventually, though, to clear. Uh, in fact, it's the Tiger it's yani that's on its way down long right now. Şey and it bence looks yok. like it has yeah. caught out of Captain. Still, what do you do with the information? One Bizim player outside long. Bir kendilerine gelmesi lazım. Main threat is building up towards Hookah. No rotation yet from the side of BBL. They still don't have the info. The jump spot being attempted, but for now, at least, this has been avoided. Smoke will go down, but immediately cena has gone straight through it. The shot from Reese is good, though. Drops him out of the sky. A brave swinging has caught another couple. Nice. This is a solid hold kadar, when it comes sakin, to the B site. Sakin, yavaş, Amor, yavaş, yavaş, yavaş. Now left alone. 20 seconds. May just even want to make sure that he holds onto the gun. Abi öldük bittik modunda bir izlemeyin bir sakin olun bir chill arkadaşlar yaslanalım arkamıza keyifli bir maç olacak gibi görünüyor o yüzden izleyelim what a hold from BBL toks demeyelim çekte and nothing can break through it I think from the side of foot it's the first bump in the road really I don't think they got to be too worried about it that's uh no hands yeah impressive Abi neden her oyun sürekli önce rakibin mapinde başlıyoruz? Biz sitin yetim çocuğu falan mıyız acaba? Abi o bizim yazı turada şanssızlığımız. Yazı tura atılıyor. Ve her seferinde kaybediyoruz. Nasıl oluyor ben de bilmiyorum. Onkra ile yazılmelerini kapatsanız. Evet şu şey puanıyla yazmalarını kapatsanız. Ya da yazanları da banla. Ya toksiklik yapanı banla direkt ya modlar. Landing and getting that shot off and, and not, right? His flash just came in just as he died. But again, those things can be easy to have a little hiccup. 
a little bump in the road that you hit on the way through. Be maybe a two Plenty more rounds for them to adjust course. And with 10 to 5 on the board, DBL have a long way to go before they're back in this in a competitive environment. Full buy up for foot. Ults coming online and the most scary one of all, CNET. Yeah, those showstoppers are often used just for sectioning off parts of the map control, pushing players back, but CNETs oh, yeah. have been finding kills every he, single he time. He also uses it as a booster sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So I need to get a little bit further. Yeah. I'm going to boost myself with the showstopper and then headshot you. But now, though, again, much more tempered in their aggression, patient. I don't let. BBL do have a good read. The stun as well. He's if put into place at the right time, could set them up wonderfully. So there you go. It's brought this to a halt. You can already see the rotation sprinting from Brave. Yes, the flash is good, though. And actually, out of cap, he's just got swinging off the look. back of it. Bye. Takes a bit of a risk, and Kushin is there. Two kills immediately. Goes for a little bit more. Yeah, I've got a bit greedy. Man. His teammates aren't really available oh, to stop them. But I'm loving like, the position like, like. of Reezy. This is so much more passive than you'd normally expect. He is nice. waiting for them to drop out. Already finding oh. the kill, and he won't quite get the he's second. He's but he's 11 he's HP he's for cracks. Good luck. That uh, will be an impressive 1v3 if he can pull this across the line. That A hold was unbreakable. They've shown that B is strong as well. Good signs for BBL's right defense early on. We just need to see them close this round. So that, bravo. Will. Luckily, that 11 HP is not enough, even with the wall in the way, to keep him alive. Six rounds for BBL. A good attempt out of foot, almost the recovery. I think Reezy saved them. I, really, it's Kushner, though, in this position. Yeah. You gotta clear Kushner on the way through, and they won't make that mistake again. No, you, you can't imagine. I, I think that was more, again, just out of captain trying to catch a timing, but didn't work out. He also heard the player running back in spawn. He heard those steps on the metal, so you think there's one there, one in heaven? Oh, what are the chances they've got just a guy tucked away and that they're Echo abandoning was. him to basically die in an isolated duel? Uh, oh. bir şey var. Var. Economy-wise, they in the best spot, but they don't have that showstopper. No, come on. And a hero rifle for Yedajay. So, still opportunities. This could be a good chance for BBL to really build up Çok some güzel. of those finances. Alpha rebuys, but more importantly, they've got three ults that are one all the way. That's it, right? This is a round where, for BBL, sometimes we'd look at it as a moneymaker round. And, and sure, it can be that, but it's not like you're going to see Foot run away with it and BBL go, well, at least we've got cash, guys. They're a little too far behind for that sort of carry on. But building up those ultimates coming into the next round, now that could be huge Aye. to have that safety net that if things do get out of control, you can fall right back on it. If Kushner has a big round, he'll be right on a showstopper, too. Well, he almost had a quick round. Yeah, the dropped. One towards Çok Cora, there's Elite picking up. The players on foot have rotated around. Still, BBL are sat in positions. Reezy hasn't been given this up even late into the previous round. And we can see that Brave is also in spot. This could be the, both of those Elin's remaining tricky. ultimates farmed up right here and now. In a good position. Flash out, it's going to give both players away. May go down to his paranoia is in. Uh, down, and he's managed to find them a couple. Again, though, the rotation. Already on spot, but the rifle's been picked up by Anacap. He's going to be waiting close to the smoke. It'll definitely be a gamble to go through it. I think hey they're going to try and hey patiently wait on the other side. As that plant now comes in, the nade is going to force Cracks into a bit of a more awkward position. Nice. Anacap in immediately nice. traded it. It's nice. almost there for Cracks, but Pora is a safe pair of hands. I, and I want to say, I absolutely love watching the way the Pora plays this defensive side. It reminds me of like an old school DRX where he, you know the way they used to play split, where he just sits almost all the way back, I think it was stacks, and would just set up stunts. Like he's and that's all he's doing. He's just going, yeah. okay, okay, they're playing a short stun. Okay, they're playing towards showers. Yani and then he has a game of the shot that goes through the boxes to the side. He's keeping his teammates safe. Is that going to be re reflective on the scoreboard? No, no, it's not. It's not you're not going to find anything from that. But he is basically orchestrating from the back as the leader, which I, it's a selfless role. It's one where if things go wrong in the future, you might be the guy that gets left behind. Mm -hmm. But it also might be the guy that wins your games. Well, that's it. And you got to hope that your team management and everyone like that is able to sit back and look at look a little deeper than just the statistics and the spreadsheet. Sometimes there's a little bit more to the game. And I think for Pora, you saw even in that last fight, I think they delayed the nade a little bit, but the fact that the stun was lined up ready to go. Which base? Although it didn't come in on time, could well have gotten the kill. And I'm sure it will in the future. For foot, 
four ultimates online. Can be a big dump of a round if they decide to go for it all in. But yeah. We yeah, get all sucked up. They've only needed the one. Big ult dump round, you know? <laughs> just dump, <laughs> dump all the... Because okay. they dump all their ults. Okay. Ult geldi, oh, yeah. He didn't use the word ult. I didn't, we got shortened it a little. Hey, we take a break. Both teams. Two ultimates are there. Ulti is Elite ulti is as we will now have that Easy. wraparound coming in already. Oh. Oh, yeah, did you, I think he was stunned up there. He still it's manages it's to hit the shot. Maybe that's the curse of oh, the no. reach. Oh, he did get tagged. Not my oh. Yeah, the Jace just hitting every head. It leaves it all up to Brave. A one versus three scenario. An impossible position to fight from. Still has a Molotov, but... He still believes there's someone towards the showers. In fact, though, Yedige has abandoned that spot. He's gonna try and get onto that defusal. He's done some damage, but doesn't even know the second That's player's cool. there. And another one and is wrapping him behind him. It's this youngster afoot again. One of the hottest properties in the VCT MEA right now. Yani, that has given them an 11th round. Uh, I think it was going so well, Tom. Tom decided to dump all over the board. map. No, those yep. ults came through. The little homie came in and wasn't even needed. Look, it's so quick. A little tap on him. An afterthought. The showstopper from miles away. The thing is, if he got him to himself there, that would have been so silly. But it yeah, is yeah, just yeah. the fact that he doesn't miss. miss. He doesn't miss, though. Deafening inside that watch party for foot with two rounds left to go. It's only going to get louder. A timeout called by BBL. This is their second foot have yet to touch theirs. So if that comeback does begin, they've got time to touch base and make those adjustments. Two timeouts left for foot, two rounds left as well. BBL need a solution here and now. Yeah, it's definitely been more competitive than what we've seen in some of their previous by matchups, but evet, being competitive for the most yani, part isn't going to matter. If they lose Bayağı both maps, both maps, both maps first two maps, Şuan, they are ulti, out. Yani Raze and Liquid artı, will take their spot. Var. At the very Bol last second, var. everything will have aligned for them to go through. If BBL win a map, yani especially with how close this first yani one has been, that will likely be enough to send them into the bios. And I'll be kötü. honest, the spot I think they deserve. They have been fantastic mi? in this split. Forsi I think mi, they've yoksa, had many evet, doubters. I'll put my name in the hat as one of them. But they have shown up. Acaba ultileri Beaten kullanacağız some mı? good teams. Beaten some great teams. The only team to beat Na'Vi. <laughs> That's absurd. Like, with how good Na'Vi have been. And obviously the other thing for Foot here as well, I want to mention again, they will overtake Na'Vi if they win this series. I, I think that's a 2-1 as well. They don't even have to 2-0, and they'll be the number one team in their group. It really does break my heart a bit, Tom, because look, uh, I'll level with you. Uh, I would be happy if Liquid made it to playoffs, but the reality no is, with the year that BBL have had, so far this stage even, they deserve it. They, they, they deserve it more. The White games that they've had have been impeccable. They've surprised me on levels I, I was not ready to be surprised by BBL on. And that Navi game as well. Like the, there's just been, so, for them to have all these accolades, potentially miss out on playoffs, it seems like a crime. But it's a reality that they're now facing 11 to 7 down map 1. Not a lot invested into this one, but they've made it work before. Was that, was that his teammate's nade? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at where C like, that is. I don't think he's good. got a line up from there. He also still has his nade. <laughs> that also does it. <laughs> yeah, never know though. He most, he's about to get two kills. So they just gave him in advance. <laughs> Kushner has just used his ult. Showstopper up towards heaven. And, and sure, it cancelled out of captains left. from the shadows. But if you're going to offer me a trade yeah, from the, the shadows for a time. showstopper, Look I'll take time. it. 25 seconds left. The it's positioning it's of, it's it's of Brave could be everything. Oh, they've not checked. They've not oh. checked. He's just it's going to try and drop the spike. A second player. If he kills the player with the spike, he might just win them the round. But he's only done damage. Still, though, Kushin is now here. Waiting with the rifle. First player oh, dropped. Saniye. Still, that spike is coming, but it's gone down. He's trapped. Best I think they've just about done enough. Yeah, yeah. It would touch, have to be the kill for Vert. Yes, happening. Yes. They managed to win the round purely yes. based off time. Brilliant from BBL. It might look silly. That showstopper used. It's burned up for what? For nothing. And we talk Hadi. about Hadi. foot. Oh, when Hadi. they use those showstoppers, it's a kill every time. That's great. Well, there is a way to win the round olmaz, without olmaz. even drawing blood yourself. Ya. Gorgeous play from BBL. Brave.
any weapon other than the frenzy. But the thing is, even that just burnt time. Slowed them like, down. Slowed them down. It allowed players into the site. A lot of that came off Kushina. And then just dropping them from the back lines, I think, was Reezy as well. And the player he tagged down so low was Mr. Fallen, yeah, who, who gets one spike. shot by his Sheriff. And yep. that's why the spike goes down. If he doesn't hit those shots, if he doesn't even do the damage, yeah. and so on. Hadi beyler, what hadi an Bak, round and an an echo echo echo echo echo echo echo echo Three rounds in between them. And PBL back on that defense, sitting Uçlar down, yok, waiting for the aggression. They're not going to go pushing forward, giving advantages. Aynı they just want off of forward. time. Let's see how Foot respond to it. They don't seem to be quickening their play at all. No, I don't think Foot are going to swap things up. I think they're going to look at that as a, a blip. They lost to what was a, a Viper's pit thrown in and yep. a Showstopper. Like, yep. True. Two things that are not available in this round. And to just try and blitz when you know your opponents have first seed the utility to slow you down. Peki, tamam, but güzel, also now the I think that would be an oversight. An oversight that Mr. Farlin as an IGO tamam. is not going to allow. Masha nice. for backside, but the corner is still wide open. Nice Zinab out there on his own. Brave is isolating nice. duels. Nice. The spike retrieved, but a two versus five iki. after the chaos of initial engagements. Yedege, bırak, korusunlar, bırak. he's still here with his teammate Cracks. They've grouped up. But finding this round now seems very difficult with 20 seconds to get that spike on the ground. It looks like the call might just be another save. This attacking side conceding a round to BBL and putting 11 to 9 on the board. Tom, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if we do see a pause out of foot. Left. Because this gap has now narrowed massively. Yeah, I, I, I think it might be a moment for guys to try and talk things through. I think also just a lot of what this B-site defense has been is the interplay between Brave and Breezy. I, I, I think their timing on when they peek off the flashes or off just players diving through is sublime. Like Brave is so good at just finding angles to isolate it's fights, but that. he knows that other positions are being held by teammates at the same time. He's had a real resurgence in this map, now moving right up the board. And well, there you go. That is the, the foot timeout. Still not getting too far out of control just yet. And obviously for them, less pressure. I, I do think it needs to be stated that first place in the group is a massive difference. It is, firstly, you skip the instant elimination stage. That is the first couple of matches, is you lose and you are out. At least if you finish first, you lose, you're still in the lower bracket. You get another opportunity to try and fight. Also, if you go into that first matchup, I believe you win one game and, and you've made it. You're already going off to Masters. So you skip some of the most dangerous matches and you get very high likelihood of making it over to China, which I'm sure after not being able to make it, being in the group of death oh, yeah. at kickoff, where they the only teams Abi they lost to were the teams that made it to Madrid. That's got a, a sort of bitter taste yamadım. in the mouth of Furt, and I'm sure they're going to be wanting to get as close Biz as they can to make it to another international, because they are a team that deserves Biraz to be there. Awesome good news for those of you out there. Maybe some bad news. No tiebreakers will be in play today. It's been confirmed now by BBL finding enough rounds. So there's no BO1s after. We're all going to be decided after this one. And for BBL, two round gap. They have done a fantastic job of pulling this game back in their favor after losing the pistol as well to start out this half. I thought that could have been foot running away with it. But BBL now in a very winnable position. They forced foot to call a timeout this round. Sees weak weapons across the board. Three pistols in play for foot. And just those two rifles that they saved over that will be carried through. Still, there's a lot of danger, and this is a round that BBL have to approach with an element of caution. Right there. Again. Just those couple of weapons to play with. It's a freebie, though. Elite gives that one up. One suppressed. That gun can quite easily be retrieved as well, especially with three pistols in play. This definitely makes things dangerous. Kushina is going to try and make a move off this. Bomboldur, the nade could be catastrophic in terms of the damage, Oğlum, but it's not going to go in time for the wingman plants. El an plant, an extra rifle found. This is truly dangerous for Yapma the side of BBL. Reese is almost dead too. Only guy that can't get healed back up as well, and now he's the last man standing. What a response!
I don't know what guys said. I'd love to hear it. I'm sure it was inspirational because uh, that was about as clean as a, a low buy round is ever going to get. Kuti? Still though, Abi BBR have the finances to buy back ha, up again. Pora one of his ult, Reezy two, Operator for Kushida as well. Could be a nice. game changer and already that's Yedder Jay gone. He's bravo. been a nuisance in showers in the majority of rounds. That's a huge player to take down as well. You're opening up this sight line for your Operator. Without that Viper wall in play, they can't cross all too easily. And at the moment, you can see that's all they're waiting for. Smoke down. Out of captain, at least able to block out some of these angles. Get them closer to the site. Perhaps the drawing rotations in. Still the option to rotate with that teleporter in play. Brave is on his way. Flash is good. They can take some deeper control. And up top, CNET catches Kushner. The battle of the races goes CNET's way. And he's inspired to keep up the fight. Even throwing a thrash into this, and it's caught them. No, it hasn't. It didn't. They destroyed it just in time. Okay, it's not going to run the clock down that much. They still have the disadvantage on the way back through. The defuse to be found. The stun going in. And the players not yet found. Out of Captain isolates a 1v1, loses it. Reezy on another Mr. Fallen, though. He's been quiet all map. And now he steps it up for the double. Elite, the last man standing, okay. caught off guard by CNET on the all angle. Behind şey. the box as he strikes for the map, 13th ice box. round for foot. One map down, but that's right their back. pick top. Up next is Icebox, and BBL chose it. That's where they're going to try to get their map yeah. on the board and keep playoffs alive. They need it. They need to get that dub under their belt, otherwise they